Hey everybody, we all know Iron X does a great job of breaking down contaminants on your paint. But this is like more than $100. I wanna tell you about a product that's getting a lot of attention online. And this is a shout out to my man Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Luxury Microfiber pointing out this product. Yep, Eagle One. This was $5.99 at AutoZone. A lot of hype is going around about how this will do the job of Iron X, Fair X, whatever you use uh, to break down iron on your paint. So I'm gonna test this side by side with Iron X today and see which one performs better. And for the purposes of this video, this is my Iron X. I put it in a wheel brightener bottle, don't mind that. There's my Eagle One and let's test these side by side. All right, so I am just gonna go ahead and start spraying this stuff on this panel of the tundra. Let's just do the lower section because we all know how nasty that can get. And it's nice and thick. It's gonna start running and I haven't pre-treated this panel, which I normally would. So you're going to see it get to work very quickly. You're gonna see the bleeding with a product like Iron X very quickly if you don't pre-treat a panel. This is a very uh, dirty vehicle, hasn't got a lot of wash time uh, during the winter and already you can see let's see do you see that starting to bleed out some of that purple 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 so that looks pretty good that's kind of what we expect uh, from the product when when you see the purple uh, moving you know the iron and the ferrex uh, the, the ferrous iron particles down the uh, the panel uh, you know it's working now let's take Eagle One. I'm very intrigued to see how this performs side by side. I can already tell you from the sniff test. Okay, you see this little particle here? See that? That's like a rust looking particle. That's the stuff that uh, a product like this will work hard at. So the thing with these iron removers is they're so damn expensive. So if this product actually works, This is 32 ounces, right? Six dollars, so what is that, six, 12, $24 for a gallon versus, what is that, more than $100 for a gallon? And I'm being very generous with this just to see how it goes. Um, it's definitely got a nasty smell. You can tell they tried to hide it with something. I don't know if it's cherry or what, but. You can kind of see if I, where in the heck's my finger? There it is. Uh, some bleeding right there. Some bleeding right there. Oh, it smells horrible over here. So you're actually you're actually seeing the bleeding, uh, the purple bleeding start to work here. Um, just for grins, let me give this like I don't know. Why don't we say five minutes dwell time? Uh, I'll come back and take a look at the panel, and then we can uh, we can clay this and uh, see what we find out. All right, it's been five minutes, not much to see from here, but let's get a little bit closer up. Follow the finger, Nick, there you go. And you see those little particles? There's quite a lot of uh, bleeding on this panel. See that there? See that there? Um, right here. So, I mean, it's, it's bleeding quite a bit. You're gonna see, and there's some there as well. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely doing what it says it's gonna do. Um, I'd say it might be a little bit more visible here with the Iron X. Obviously this Tundra logo was filled with crud. So you're gonna see the bleeding there. It's not really a fair comparison. And then, you know, the rocker panels are always gonna be pretty messed up, especially close to the wheel. Um, I would say visibly, this uh, stays a little sudsier looking, almost like it clings to the paint a little bit more. Um, but this, I like, you can't see it from here, but this, there's definitely a lot of bleeding going on. So it's doing the trick. Now, because I don't have a hose out here today, I'm just gonna dump some water, dump some water on both panels, clear them off, and then just kind of feel how smooth they feel. All right, like I said, just trying to get the, stuff off of the car here, the truck. Ah. 
All right. So this is a quick field test. I can't really notice a difference. This might be a little bit better, but uh, let's try doing one more process here. So I like to, you know, there's dedicated clay lubes out there, but there's nothing better than uh, your iron X, and you can just, oh man, that's amazing. It does so much of the work for you, and you'll just watch the particles disappear. You can just feel the paint smoothing out as you go. I'm using a clay towel, you could use a clay bar, but uh, this works real nice. I've done this before in the past. And you just kind of just ever so gently. Clay towels can really mar the paint if you're not careful. And that works pretty nice. And now we're just going to saturate the panel with this, whatever the hell this is, Eagle One Triple Cleaning Foam. Uh, and use this as a clay lube as well. As far as the odor goes, it's not pleasant. It is not pleasant at all. But I can tell you, it looks like it's doing the job. So I just want tons of lubrication there. I'm going to grab my clay towel, which I did rinse off, but let's rinse it off again with the Harbor Freight paint sprayer, which we just got working. You're like, who is this guy and what is going on? All right, let's do a comparison here. I can feel the contaminants underneath. You know, I don't know that I felt as much contamination with the Iron X. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This, it's hard to measure, you know, feel. It's not the end of the world though. It doesn't mean a little bit of clay and Iron X can't still get the same, or, um, and this Eagle One can't still get the job done. To be honest with you, it feels like we did about the same thing. Let me uh, grab my hose here. Let's go over to here. It kind of seems a little gooier as it comes down off the paint. Almost like it clings a little bit. All right, so both sides now have been sprayed down with our iron decontamination chemical. And both have been properly clayed. Let me go for feel here. That feels very smooth. That feels very smooth. Down here, um, a little bit of contaminate, a little bit, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Slightly different odor, slightly different consistency, but for the price, $6 times four, 24 bucks a gallon, compared to this, which is like 100 bucks for this, and this may be a little bit over a gallon. If you're a pro detailer, you gotta make money, right? This stuff is pretty enticing. I think it does the job well enough that I'm gonna go to my auto zone and stock up on this. I mean. They both smell horrible. My wife just walked out and said, gosh, that's nasty. And about an hour later here, I couldn't help myself. Was started as a test on these panels. I had to get the work truck all washed. I didn't do the wheels. I didn't do the barrels. I'm gonna drive this thing 45 minutes through snow. The roads are wet. It's gonna get dirty. But there was just so much built up contamination on there that you obviously saw uh, with the Iron X and that Eagle uh, One product. Uh, breaking it down. Now she looks nice and shiny. Check it out. Uh-huh. That's right. Mm. Yeah. I know. It's a great truck. It's uh, it's nothing special, but she's my baby. She's my work truck. She hasn't been washed in a few weeks, and she doesn't get garage. So it's kind of sad in that way, but I'm telling you, man, I'm going to go to AutoZone right now and try and stock up on the rest of that Eagle One. I bought a couple of the last bottles at a Salt Lake location. I'm going to check out the Heber, Utah AutoZone and try to buy that stuff because 
I don't know, maybe Iron X is 10 times or 10% better. It's really hard for me to say. But for that price tag and the fact that it actually does what it's supposed to do, I'm very impressed. Clay, wash, paint prep, Optimum Hyper Seal. I like Optimum Hyper Seal. I go back and forth, you know, there's Bead Maker out there. I'm sure Car Pro makes amazing stuff, but um, hey, I want you guys to have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. And it'll be spring soon, and we can all start making some money. All right, take care.